Hello everybody and welcome to my 80th VBA 2010 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use an OR statement instead of a AND statement in your SQL query. So I've added again, I've added in a few more people into my users table. Um, I've just got a few more in here. Uh, um, and I've now got some in London, some in Berlin and some in Paris. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bring through everyone who is either in Berlin or is in Paris. Um, so in order to do this, let's just move my database out of the way. And I'm just going to change this. So I'm going to get rid of my statement after where. And in here, I'm just going to put in a city equals... London or city equals Berlin uh, and then I'm going to just clear my spreadsheet in here and then I'm going to run my code so let's press play uh, and you'll see it's brought through all of the uh, the people from my database, uh, except for Tina Turpipe, who is in Paris, so she hasn't been brought through. So let's look for everyone, through everyone, and if they're either London or Berlin, it's brought them through. So the same way an if statement works. Uh, and similarly, we can combine the, uh, the and and the or. So let's say we want... Uh, only customers from the city of London or the city of Berlin. So we're going to put an and at the end. So and user type equals customer. Uh, and what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to put our brackets around this section. Uh, and what this will do is it will force it to, to treat all as this as one statement and then combine it with the am so it will do either that or that is true and that has to be true otherwise it might go either city of london is true or the city of berlin is true and the customer is true with the brackets that way uh, which is not what we want because that would give us either people in london or customers in berlin so if we have any staff in London, it would still bring them through. Whereas as we do it like this, everyone has to be a customer. Uh, so let's press play on that. Uh, and you'll see that it brings through the same people. And that's because I didn't clear it off. So let's press play again. And it only brings through four people because this time it's excluding the staff members here. So just remember your brackets. Um, if you've got this far, you've probably got used to using the brackets by now in your if statements anyway. Um, but that is it for and and ors. I'm going to keep on going through uh, providing criteria to your SQL strings. Uh, we're going to start using numbers and dates uh, and possibly booleans as well um in the next couple of tutorials so thanks for listening and i hope to catch you soon